All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to JP and Dr. B. It is Wednesday, and we are excited. We're going to be talking about how to prevent yourself from becoming a victim of a crime during the holiday season. There seems to be a lot more predators out there during the holiday season, and it's real easy because we're in such a rush that we forget to sometimes lock our doors or we forget to you know, turn our cars off when we run into the store and someone invites themselves into our cars and they borrow them for us. So we're doing that. And then we're going to be talking with Luke James, who owns Luke James Cattle Company. An amazing story. He ascended from high school where he had no cattle at all, had five or ten head that he sold by order, and now he has over 100 he sold last year, 15 heifers, and is calving over 400. So stay tuned for JP and Dr. B. Okay, so it's not turned off. Luke, you are now turned on. One, two, three, four. You're on. We have yes, one, six two, seconds. Three. Six seconds. Check, double check. Well, Dr. B, good morning. I'll tell you what. What a glorious day. How was your date yesterday with your eyelids at 4 in the morning? I tell you what, JP, I feel like a new man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you look like at a new about man. About 7 o'clock yesterday morning, I rolled out of bed, and I said, whoa. You said, I haven't, the seen, rest it. Of the world lives <laughs> I like haven't seen this time of day. <laughs> well, was it bright when you drove in this morning? It was uh, actually not too bad. The traffic was typical, and... Um, Lots of people trying to, you know, get me out of the way quickly, I guess. <laughs> well, it may, that may have been me, yeah. Oh, you absolutely cannot have the morning off. I'll tell you what, you know, if you're not there, think about this, Sheree. It's every show has to have a heart. That's it. And it's beating. And it's beating. And, and Sheree, if you're not here, the heart stops beating. No, <laughs> you got it. Yeah, you got it. Well, you know, I think Doctor B and I are being pretty nice. We're going to give you Christmas Day off. Oh, yes, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. Well, the bonus is we've got really good advice for you today on how to prevent yourself from becoming a victim during the holiday. So, great segue there, Action Jackson. You're welcome. So, this segment, however, has been brought to you by Mike Curran. Attorney at Law out of McKinney, Texas. I'll tell you what, folks, if you've got a family matter or a need, Mike Curran is the attorney you want to go to. Our families are precious to us. We love and protect them, yet life happens. Sometimes we need a specialist to go to bat for us. If you or a loved one is in need of legal assistance, get help from someone you can trust. Michael D. Curran is a specialist in family law and criminal defense cases. Michael has practiced law for over 20 years taught law and trained legal professionals. He understands how important your family is to you and will help you deal with any legal situation. Call Michael Curran at 972-569-8484. That's 972-569-8484. Or go to collincountylegal.com. And so hopefully folks will not have to do that this holiday season. In studio with us today, we have from the Plano Police Department and the Crime Prevention is it a crime prevention unit? Is that still what we call it, or have they changed it and made it more apropos there, uh, Officer Bionez? Well, it's crime prevention Be in Plano. Some people call it community relations or community education. Community education, which is what really we're wanting to do today, Dr. B. Absolutely. Is to provide some community education. Well, folks, today we have a loaded show. We are super excited. We have Officer Bionez in uh, studio with us from Plano PD. He's going to talk to us about how to prevent yourself from becoming a victim of crime during the holiday season. It always seems like the holiday season seems to be, Officer Bionez, more full of people susceptible to crime. And I think a lot of that may be from the rushing around, not paying attention, having to get from point A to point B. But we're going to let Officer Bionez tell us about that. Then in the second uh, half of the show, we're going to talk with Luke James. He wasn't able to make it yesterday. His wife is recovering well from the car accident that she was in where they, she totaled her car, but she is good and fine. Uh, and he is in, stu in studio with us today. And so we want to welcome Luke James to the studio as well. Good morning, Luke. Good morning. So we're going to talk with him at the 630 hour and talk about how he has gone and lived the American dream. Folks, 33 years old, and he will have over 400 calves. And we're going to share that with you here in a little bit. So that's a pretty big deal, by the way. But before we get into that, let's talk about how to prevent crime. First of all, 
when is the holiday season generally for like a police department? When do you guys start saying, okay, we got to prepare for the holiday? I think around Thanksgiving or immediately after Thanksgiving, people are just into holiday mode. You know, of course, with Black Friday, that's always a big day that there's lots of people that are so eager to get those deals that uh, they get downright unreasonable sometimes in those lines. <laughs> so most stores will have extra security during those holiday seasons. Now, would you, do you guys have to do any kind of training with your retailers in the area when you guys are talking about Black Friday because of some of the crazy? I mean, I've seen, we did a show uh, a couple weeks ago or last week on crazy Black Friday retail stories and officers getting shot at at a Coles, you know, having to, an officer got drug from a Coles, they had to shoot the car to get it to stop. I mean, crazy stuff. Do you guys do any kind of meetings with your retailers? Well, we, on a regular basis, we do, and retailers are very much aware of the loss prevention issues and so they work very closely with law enforcement but it is something that we have to constantly be aware of that things crimes do happen and there are certain times like the holidays that there is an increase is there a percentage of increase over the holidays that you figured out i mean you know like normal crimes uh, against stealing breaking into cars is so much per year and then at the holidays it jumps up or I don't know why. I think people, maybe just the, the desperateness to maybe get those those gifts or to make some extra money. I'm not sure why there's an increase. There definitely seems to be an increase. As far as statistically, I don't have the data right. you know, with me, but uh, we do track all, all crimes and so. You know, when we're talking about crimes, let's tell everybody what those crimes might be. What are the most popular crimes in holidays? I imagine, I imagine retail theft mm -hmm. is probably a big one. What about residential theft? Yeah, residential, speaking of like Plano, Texas, Plano has about 270,000 residents. We have about 1,000 houses burglarized per year, about 2,800 cars broken into. Probably the most important thing I want people to understand is the important partnership that you have with your law enforcement agency. Because the truth is a police officer is not going to be there when you need us the most. Uh, an officer, if an officer is standing right there, the person's not going to commit a crime. So it's really important for people to understand that important partnership that when you need us the most, we're not going to be there. Yeah, it's going to be after the fact, more or less, right? Correct. So, you know, so what can people do? Knowing, of course, you guys can't be everywhere. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see if they have a virtual police officer you can put up on your phone that stands next to you one of these days. <laughs> but until they get that, what can people do to protect themselves from becoming a victim of crime? Well, let's start with, with burglary of motor vehicles. You see all ac across the different parking lots these take, lock, and hide. So take your keys, lock your cars, hide your valuables. But I want to take it a step further. Remove your valuables. If it's valuable to you, it's valuable to someone else. Do not leave valuables in your cars. And at the very least, uh, put them in the trunk where they can't be seen, I guess. Right? Absolutely. And if you're going to do that, try to be strategically about it. If you get to a, you go to work out, you don't want to get out of the gym, walk out, and then put the purse in the trunk. That's kind of like a clue. Woo -hoo, over here. So, <laughs> so Watch you, me. Hello. Yeah. Hey, here's where the good stuff's going yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. So if you're going to do something like that, you would secure it in your trunk before you leave your garage and then go to the gym. But best yet, it really is to get it out of the car. We have people who are out there just looking for opportunities, particularly ladies, specializing in ladies' purses. And what they're looking for is a lady that gets out of the car and walks in that daycare just real quick, just a quick minute, to drop that kiddo off, and now they bust that window and they're gone. So you just can't leave valuables in your car. Yeah, it makes me wonder sometimes what they're thinking. And our church has a daycare, and just last week somebody did that. They, she dropped off her child, ran in, left her purse in the car, and before she got back out, somebody had broken into it, taken her purse. And I'm thinking, what did you expect? <laughs> yeah, and Dr. B, you know what's even worse than, than that purse is leaving that child in the car. Oh, absolutely. Sometimes people will just pull up to the 7-Eleven and just run in real quick and keep the car running. And we've had instances where the, the criminal jumps in, steals the car, didn't even realize that child was left in the car. So please do not leave your vehicle running, even for a short period. It's just an open invitation for car theft. How can we protect ourselves, like going to a mall or something like that? You're coming out at night, maybe 8, 30, 9 o'clock. You've got packages, particularly women, but men too. Uh, 
how can they protect themselves from the person who's just looking for that opportunity to steal purse, grab packages, whatever? One of the keys is to constantly be aware of your surroundings, especially the, the situation you described where their arms are full of packages and if you add children you've got more distractions. And now it's very easy to not be aware of what's going on. It is crucial to constantly be aware of your surroundings and to project confidence. They've done some studies and what they found that criminals are looking for easy targets. Right. And when they looked at the different precipitators that they look for, it's people who are not paying attention to the surroundings, people who look passive, people who look like they were dragging their feet or shuffling along were targeted more often than someone who walked fast and fluidly. So I know it sounds a little harsh, but if you don't want to be a victim, don't look like a victim. Right, don't act or look like a victim, move on. Well, folks, I'll tell you what, you are joined with us on point with JP and Dr. B. We are so fortunate to have Officer Bianna in studio with us today from Plano PD. He's with the Crime Prevention Unit or the Community Relations, Relations Department for Plano PD. And we're talking about how to not become a victim during the holiday season. And really, this is good advice on how not to become a victim throughout the entire season. Anytime. Yeah, anytime, but especially the holiday season, it does seem like people are targeted more and we hear crazy stories. People get out of their car, run into a 7-Eleven, they come back out and their car has been borrowed. I'm sure it was just borrowed. <laughs> but uh, so stay tuned, we are going to take a quick break. When we come back, we've got Officer Bionis and we're gonna talk more about how to protect yourself and what has law enforcement done to beef up security during the holiday season. You are listening to 620 AM KEXP. Okay, so I want to cover also distraction techniques. This is a big one where okay. they try to get people, you know, the shopping carts and just distract them. Several people to put to a swarm technique and try to get them, oh, can you help me? Can you please give me a nice baby blanket? Next thing you know, they've, uh, they've lifted yeah. out that, that wall. You know, if you got a purse, by the way, close it up. Don't See leave it open with, the, with your phone and your keys and your billfold right on top. That's yeah. a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Good. And, and then, then the other big one is that ladies, they'll, they'll put their, they'll, you know, on the holidays, hey, let's stop off and, and, and visit. So they, they drop into a restaurant and they'll put their purse behind them on the chair. Mm -hmm. You just cannot do this. You've seen that Blue Goose video yeah. Yeah. where they pick yeah. that right off and people, again, working together to get those purses. So. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's all, um, also, when I was talking with Chief Drain, he had said that you guys <coughs> do beef up security during the holiday season in mm -hmm. parking lots and mm -hmm. so forth. So if we could talk about how you guys are doing that as well. Okay. And that's probably done throughout the Metroplex, I imagine, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'll see those sky watch towers, yeah. okay. right? Yeah. That are deployed specifically. Are there people actually in those towers? Yeah, sometimes there are. Okay. You know, Mark Dawson actually will go sit up in there and really? with binoculars and things. That's, that's but they've cool. got video running and things like that. And so okay. what, about, <clears throat> what about the uh, people going up to the houses, all that? You know, you, there's been a lot on the news recently. Yeah. Packages are delivered. Mm -hmm. And so when we can, we want to do things like, you know, deliver them to some place that someone's going to be home. Because people are doing that. They're just looking for opportunities. That's a great, that's a great thing about the holidays is that opportunity where more and more packages are left on doorsteps, right? Because they know presents are coming. There was something on the news this morning while I was getting ready. Now, I, met, I missed it completely. Uh, an officer's wife was getting packages. Oh, really? I don't know where it was. What right. do you mean? She was stealing them? Yeah. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just the uh, thing uh -huh. you need, right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, my goodness. All right. Magic word is ugly Christmas sweaters, by the way. Okay. That's the magic word. And then um, I want to give away a $50 gift card Saturday. We're going to do a drawing for the uh, first 100. The blood. Blood. And then give away a four-pack to one of them. Hey, Sharabius. Ugly Christmas sweaters. Do you, do you know what four packs we have left? Is it even there? Yeah, it's here. I don't think. Yeah, it's here. I don't think. Sherabius. Are you are you aware? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Perfect. Hey, 
Put your headset on. Can you hear that, Luke? 